What's going on everybody? Spunky Nice and I want to come to you guys with another video. Coming at you guys with my Eagles Giants uh, recap video here. So the Eagles get the win against the New York Giants 23-17. Um, to 17. Eagles now officially take the all-time series lead against the New York Giants. Um, this game was a typical Eagles Giants game. Giants start off strong. They go up big, up big, what, 17-3 at halftime. They were up 17-3 at halftime. The Eagles score 20 unanswered points and come at to win the game. So, yeah, typical Eagles Giants game. Eagles coming back and uh, stunning the Giants at the very end. You know, we've seen this script played out many times in the past. Nothing, di nothing, nothing different in this game, really. Um, I'm going to go over the stats real quick in this game. And, of course, I'm going to give you my thoughts afterwards. So, starting off um, going over the stats, Carson Wentz today was 33 for 50, 325 yards, two touchdowns, two passes touchdowns. Uh, Russian, Boston Scott. Boston Scott had 10 carries for 59 yards. Average 5.9 yards to carry, one touchdown. Miles Sanders had 15 carries for 45 yards. Average 3.0 yards to carry. Um, Carson Wentz ran five times for nine yards, 1.8 yards average. Um, Jay Ajayi only had two carries for five yards. Average 2.5 yards to carry. Now receiving... Um, Zach Ertz, 9 carries for 91 yards, 10.1 yards average, 2, two receiver touchdowns for Zach Ertz. Um, Boston Scott, 6 receptions, 69 yards, 11.5 average um, average um, per, per catch. Um, Dallas Goddard, 3 catches for 41 yards, average 13.7 yards a catch. Joshua Perkins, 5 catches for 37 yards, 7.4 yards average a catch. Greg Ward Jr., Four catches for 34 yards, average 8.5 yards a catch. JJ Arcega Whiteside, two catches for 29 yards, average 14.5 yards a catch. Miles Sanders, four catches for for 24 yards, average 6.0 yards a catch. Um, and that that was it for receiving. Moving down to defense. <laughs> defense. Um, Jalen Mills had five tackles. Ron Darby had four tackles, one tackle assist. Michael Jenkins had four tackles. Nathan Gary had four tackles. Avante Maddox, three tackles. Rodney McLeod, two tackles, one tackle assist. Uh, Vinnie Curry had um, Vinnie Curry had two tackles and two sacks. Um, Nigel Brandon, um, one tackle, three tackle assist. Duke Riley, one tackle. Uh, TJ Edwards, one tackle. Deshaun Hall, one tackle. Josh Sweat, one tackle. Brandon Graham, one tackle. Uh, Fletcher Cox, one tackle assist. Um, kick returns, um, Boston Scott had one return for 28 yards. Greg Ward Jr. had a, had three punt returns for 23 yards, average 7.7 .7 yards. Jake Elliott today was not good at all when it came to kicking. He was one for two, um, you know, 50%, 34, 34 being his longest, five points. But he missed some, some crucial field goals, and I'm going to get into that later on in the video. So not, not a good day for Jake Elliott at all. So that's the stats right there in this game. Eagles come back. First half of this game, man, just it looked like the typical Eagles, man. Players just dropping like flies. Alshon Jeffrey apparently injuring his foot, had to be carted off. Lane Johnson had to be carted off. You know, just just your typical what the, what this season has been for the Eagles, man. Players just dropping like flies left and right. Um, you know, injuries, injuries, injuries. It got so bad, literally so bad that Carson Wentz was literally down to two wide, you know, only two wide receivers, and um. And I'm going to give Carson his props right here, man. I'm going to give him his props. Carson Wentz, you know, he put this team on his shoulders. He put this team on his shoulders, and he took them down to win this game. You know, he stepped this game up. Boston Scott got in there and played surprisingly very, very well. Um, so, yeah, I get, I'm going to give Carson his props here, man. He actually showed up in the clutch for the first time in a while, you know. I know he had that clutch against the, against the Giants in 2017. But he actually showed up, showed up in the clubs. I just wish that he would be more clutch and, and you know, and consistent like this on a regular basis. Um, I'm not really putting a whole lot of stock into this win. I mean, it is against the New York Giants who are two and ten, whatever. So I'm not putting big stock stock into this game. But I was happy with seeing Carson Wentz show up in the clutch. I just wish he would be more like that on a consistent basis. And what makes it even more impressive is, like I said, the wide receiver just the wide receivers just being absolutely depleted. The wide receiver core. So I, I give I give Carson his props. He showed up in the clutch. He he did what he's what a, what a quarterback you're paying that kind of money to is supposed to do. 
When the game is online, he stepped up to the plate. So I get Carson his props. And receivers actually catching the damn football as well. That helps as well. Um, I'm going to say this about Jake Elliott, man. Um, they, they, they need to bring some competition in for Jake Elliott. I'm, I'm just saying it, man. I told you guys when, uh, we signed, when we re-signed Jake Elliott, man, that I love the guy, but he's so inconsistent at times. You know, for, missing, the, missing some crucial field goals, a 43-yard field goal, whatever. You, you know, you're the third highest paid kicker in the league. I expect much better from you. I expect more consistent play from you. So, I would not be mad whatsoever. I'd be very happy, actually, if they brought in some competition for Jake Elliott. Uh, make, 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 you know, put a fire on his ass, man. Make him step his shit up next year. Bring some competition in that could challenge him for that damn kicker job. Because, no, nah, it, it's just so frustrating, man. Because he's not a guy that you can, he's not a guy that you can sit there and say with all certainty when, you, when he goes at the kick that he's going to make that. I want that type of kicker, a guy that's money, a guy that I know nine times out of ten is going to make that, you know. I'm over here biting my nails and sweating whenever I see Jake Kelly go up for the, you know, go up for a field goal. So he, he he needs to work on being more accurate, more consistent with his kicks. That's that's all I gotta say about Jake Elliott. Like I said, typical Giants game. Uh, Eli Manning returning back to the starting lineup. You know, um, Eagles just look absolutely terrible. Offensive line was atrocious. Receiver core absolutely depleted. Um, offense couldn't do a damn thing. They were actually booed off the field at, at halftime, which they deserved to be. Um, they, 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 there was no fight. There was no passion whatsoever in this team, man. And that, that was the first half, and that's you know it, it looked identical to what most of the season has been, you know. But be, you know, going against the New York Giants, man, just you know, it's just typical Giants meltdown. Eagles make the comeback. That's just, that's just very very typical. Um, Want to give a shout out to a, a, you know some giant fans here real quick. Want to give a shout out to Bad Dog. Want to give a shout out to um not to, not a band maker but you know but type a good friend of mine, Gregory Comente. Want to give him a shout out. Want to give a shout out to um Tara Belly, Ravon from Virginia, uh, NYG31, Vape Town, you know Vape Town, whatever. You know just want to give a shout out to some of these giant fans, man. Guys that I have nothing but respect for. Um, the, the Eagles are still. They're still alive in the NFC East. You know, this this division is just a never-ending roller coaster. They're now six to seven. The Cowboys are six to seven right now. Um, right now, it's just a damn, <laughs> it's just a dysfunctional uh, race to the goddamn end of the finish line. The Eagles, if they win out, they win the NFC East. Um, this division is gonna come down to Week uh, 16, Eagles and Cowboys. That's why I see it coming down to. Um, don't really have a whole lot more to say about this game. I'm not jumping for joy over this win. I, I was very happy to see Carson show up in the clutch, but I'm not I'm not gonna be one of those guys that's gonna sit here and say, Oh my god, the Eagles are back. Oh my god, the Eagles are for real. I'm not saying that because I'm not gonna sit here and put much stock into beat the New York Giants. I'm not gonna put stock into that whatsoever. It's the New York Giants, they're two and eleven, they're a really bad football team. No, so I'm not gonna sit here and oh my god, we're gonna win now. Oh my god, we're gonna, no, we, we are back, man. No, I'm not doing that. But I, like I said, I was impressed by Carson Wentz, you know, short, no, uh, stepping up to the plate, man, and doing what he's supposed to do. That's why you pay a quarterback that kind of money to step up when the game is on the line. And Carson Wentz stepped this damn game up. So I give Carson Wentz nothing but props. I still want some damn moves to be made this offseason. I want Mike Groh's ass gone. I still want Jim Schwartz's ass gone. Um, that That's not changing. I don't care if we go on a big winning streak at the end of the season. We put up 100 points a, points a game. I still want Mike Groh's job, you know, at the end of the season. I want him gone. So that doesn't change for nothing. And, um, you know, even if we make the playoffs, I already told you guys, man, I'm not really expecting much in the playoffs. That, I'm just keeping it honest, man. I'm not expecting much in the playoffs. You know, you look at these teams like the 49ers, the Seahawks, um, the, the Vikings, man. I just don't think the Eagles have enough firepower right now to compete with those teams. That's just keeping it honest, you know. Um, but, um, yeah, man. Eagles take the all-time series lead against the New York Giants. You know, um, for the you know, for the first time in their 87-year history, Eagles now lead this series, you know. Um, you know just, I think this is, what, the seventh consecutive win that the Eagles have had against the Giants. Hold up. I'm trying to think. They beat us once in 2016. So, yeah. So, 2017 swept them. 2018 we swept them, so that's four wins right there. Beat them at you no, know, uh, beat them in uh, 2016 at the end. That's, so no, six straight win the, the Eagles have against the New York Giants. The Eagles have just absolutely been owning this team for well over a decade now, man. It's just it's just been a one-sided 
you know, it's, it's just been a one-sided rivalry in terms of the win column. The Eagles have just been absolutely owning the New York Giants, and we still got one more matchup against them coming up soon. You know, <laughs> you know so I, I expect the Eagles to take a two-game win streak on them when we play them again. But, um, yeah, Eagles get the win 23-17. to 17. They, they, you know, they, they win in overtime, scoring score 20, on, 20 on extra points. You know, get a uh, touchdown pass to Carson Wentz to uh, from Carson Wentz to um, Zach Ertz to win in overtime. So, Eagles are now six to seven. They are still in the race for the NFC East, um, and, and 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 they and they got a chance. They got a big chance right now to take the lead because of the, because of um, Dallas Cowboys got a tough matchup against the um, Los Angeles Rams coming up um, coming coming up this Sunday. So the Eagles have a chance. They have a chance coming up. I mean, they have a chance to take the lead over, over the Dallas Cowboys. Short week for the Eagles. Obviously, we play again on Sunday. Um, I, I start doing my, you know, my my week, um, my week 15 videos pretty soon, of course. So short, you no, know, a short week, six days, whatever, to get ready for the next game. But the Eagles have a chance here, man. Uh, this division is going to come down to the wire. That's the way it's going to come down. That's typical of the NFC East. But this year, in general, has just been a very bad year for the division. But um, once again. Boston Scott, man, you know, Boston Scott stepped up to the plate. You know, I was very surprised by the way he played. Uh, Carson Wentz stepped up to the plate. Um, defense, you know, defense stepped up to the plate in the second half. Even though Jalen Mills and Ronald Darby continue to give me headaches, but the defense stepped up in the second half. No, did, did, not, allow, did not allow the New York Giants to score a single point in the second half. So, you know, the defense stepped up. Offense stepped up. You know, they, they, you know even, even with all the injuries and stuff, they still stepped up and uh, got the job done. So, I give props particularly to Carson Wentz. You know, the, the guy the guy stepped up to the plate today when it mattered the most. So, Eagles again went 23 to 17 in overtime. They they um improved to six to seven. Still very much in this thing for the NFC East. You know, just it, it's a never ending roller coaster, but they are still in it. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, shout out to those giant fans I mentioned: Gregory Clemente, Bad Dog, NYG31, um, Rayvon from Virginia. You know, don't you know? Shout out to those guys, man. The Entertainer, can't forget the Entertainer. Can't forget Tara Belly. No kid blue. You no know, shout out to all those um those, those giant fans here. You no know, not no nothing but respect for you guys, man. But anyway, man, I'm gonna wrap this thing up. Don't really have much more to say about this. Eagles, you know, they, they snap a three-game losing streak, improved to um six to seven on the season. Let's get ready for this a game in week 15. We'll see what happens. We shall see what happens. As always, go birds. Spunky 991 is out here. Fly eagle fly. Peace.